What's good? It's your boy Reese, right back at you with another one. Before we get started, make sure you download that Get Upside app. Make sure you're saving on your car, okay? No one needs to pay an arm and a leg when it comes to gas. Download the Get Upside app. Go ahead and put that money right back in your pocket. Help yourself save, okay? Also, download the Car Advice app. Stop spending ridiculous prices getting your car serviced auto repairs, things like that. Car Advice will help you. It'll help keep money in your pocket and bring you a little bit of joy. Both links will be in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, doing a alcohol delivery, so I'm gonna give you guys a ride along view on an alcohol delivery. And so you guys can see how it works. It's pretty easy, nothing too hard. I was just actually sitting in the front at one of my favorite uh, restaurants and BevMo is uh, the place I'm picking up from. It is literally like right behind the place I was just sitting at. For those of you who don't know, uh, BevMo is a uh, beverage place all types of beverages they have all the alcohol everything for a party all occasions bevmo is here but i'm gonna let you guys see what it's like to do an alcohol delivery now here at the bevmo uh, when you deliver you do not go in the front of the store we have to meet in this back area here we meet in this back area here. We push this little doorbell on and then they buzz us in. Here we go. Hopefully. Let's try again. Sometimes they get busy in there, but it should be out here soon. It's never, it's never been this long. Normally, once you push the button, it, it just goes. Come on, Bevmo. Well, it says if they do not get to you, then call this number. I'm going to call the number on the door. Oh, they laid everyone off. They, they laid everyone off. So there's no one. Oh, the wow. The only time it's back here is if it's after store hours. After store hours. Yeah. All right. I don't know how they laid me off. I kind of wish they did. <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. I like coming and talking to you, man. Oh, at least someone does. Hey, man. Now, you have a lot of common sense, and I laugh every time I leave. So you're all right. Oh, Common sense isn't common here. <laughs> All right, man. I'll catch you later. All right, take care. Let's see. He brought me the items to the door. Normally, they check for your ID. I come in every day. He knows who I am. But uh, like he just said, they laid off a bunch of people. But he met me at the door. I picked it up. There's only one order back there. I'm the person picking it up. He looked on the tablet, saw my picture. So we are all good. Now let's go drop it off. Now alcohol deliveries, they normally tip pretty well. Normally uh, when you're dropping these off, people have on sports. Uh, you're normally taking things to uh, parties and things like that. So people normally do tip well on these alcohol deliveries. Now everything normally. Turn left onto Frederick Street. Everything normally runs smooth according to plan. The only thing that messes it up is if the, the customer is just shit face drunk. Excuse my French. Um, if the customer is too intoxicated, we cannot drop it off. Remember, you have to think of your guys selves as a bartender. If you give someone alcohol and you know that they are wasted and something happens, it comes back on you. So, uh, you know, take good judgment. 
and I go from there. Sometimes when you do come to the home, someone else in the home other than the person that ordered the alcohol will come and give their ID. Uh, that does happen. Um, every now and then, if I think it's sketchy, I'll ask, uh, is the person too drunk? If they say the person's too drunk and everyone's partying, uh, chances are I will not drop it off, but if someone is passed out Continue drunk, for three miles. or if they, uh, you know, ordered it, yeah, if they ordered it and passed out and didn't know when people came to the door to pick it up, that happens. I've actually had that happen, and they didn't know why uh, the guy ordered it. They put him in his bed and put him to sleep so he couldn't drink anymore. So I, I did leave it with them. Uh, they put it up. So, you know, use good judgment. Use good judgment. But these alcohol deliveries, they normally run smooth unless something like that happens. Or uh, when you're scanning their ID, you can use a passport ID. Um, if they have, uh, I, I've actually scanned the national card from Mexico. If they have any of the approved IDs, and you try to scan it, and it does not go through because the picture is too blurry, uh, things like that, you have to type in the information. But even if typing in the information, it doesn't work, it just won't work. Um, make sure the ID is valid. If it's not valid, it'll, it'll show you a screen and uh, let you know that the ID is not valid. Uh, but other than that, everything, everything should run smooth. I'm dropping this off and we have an area called Sunny Meat Ranch. And this is a little bit past the Sunny Meat Ranch area. We have a street called Pigeon Pass that takes you all the way through. And this street actually goes a little further, I found out. And it goes into like, uh, like the boonies. So I'm gonna be dropping this off uh, right before the boonies. I'll pick back up, check back up with you guys then. So we are here, gonna drop this off. See how this goes right here. See how this goes right here. Getting this out the car. Whoopsie. Out the bag here. How's it going, Trey? Yes, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I got the goods for you. Let me get the ID from you really quick. Go ahead and hold this for me, brother. There you go. So that was that. Dropped it off. Made my man laugh a little bit. Got himself some tequila. And I should be getting a tip. It's alcohol. They normally tip 85% of the time. Yeah, boy, it's that easy. See you later.